All right, we're going to take a look at Publisher tonight. After Word, open up Microsoft Office, and I want you to take a look at how quickly Publisher loads here. It's pretty instantaneous, and I know 2007 Publisher did not load that quickly. All right, so if we take a look here, the first thing that comes to mind, it's like, wow, everything's so easy here. I can immediately tell what I want to get and how I want to go about creating the type of document I want. So immediately it's like, okay, I want to create some kind of email document that's going to go out to all my, uh, all my, uh, subscribers and so you just click email and you have tons of templates and uh, you can get templates online but you see how many templates are here so you could almost use completely their templates and you wouldn't have to know anything and you could look completely professional go back here so the other thing I remember is that um, in Word 2000 I mean uh, Publisher 2007 um, 8.5 by 11 papers were actually quite difficult to find. Uh, it's not like they put them at the top. It's like, you know, they're the most used pieces of paper, and yet they're like somewhere in the middle. So, right here, this stuff is just laid out in an awesome, easy manner. Um, there's nothing in options, so I'm not going to bother with that. So, the first thing that's that's great about this is that it's so easy to get what you want done. Um, picture modifying, editing, graphics are very much improved and they're very easy to work with. So if I want to create a text box, here, let's create a little bit of a an interesting an interesting graphic. So I'll I'll throw this thing in here. I could have held shift to keep it straight. But right here it shows you where you can go by outlining in orange or whatever. And I can go to format. I'm going to outline that in red. I'm going to change my fill. I've just created a huge uh a huge huge item is let's say you chose the wrong item. You can just switch. And they're great shapes. They're fun. Um so I'm going to go back to my uh, my warning symbol. Uh, shadow effects, I'm going to pick a, a random shadow effect there. And then we'll take a perspective. Uh, that's a nice perspective. And then we'll say, okay, that looks pretty cool. That looks like a, a really fancy uh, graphic some pro made. Uh, that's the great thing. You can, you can really go wild here. I'm going to draw a text box. You can draw a text box over any image you want. Uh, type in warning. Now that's too small, so it's pretty easy to just format. You go up here, you enlarge it to wherever it looks great. 72 in this case looks like where I'm aiming at. Um, so, let's see here. I'm going to center that text. And we are now going to see if we can apply any effects to this text. So I'm going to look at a uh, shadow. I'm going to give it a shadow. I'm going to emboss it. So now we've created kind of a nice looking text. Maybe it's not the greatest, but there are many other text editing tools you can use. Um, like let's go home and we do styles Oops, I just completely obliterated my text there maybe I clicked the wrong button maybe uh, publisher doesn't seem to have the same text styles as word um, because I'm not seeing I'm not seeing those items, but that's that's fine. I'm sure if I looked around more, sorry about that. 
I'm sure if I looked around more, I'd see them, and they're probably here. All right, so let's just. And the other interesting thing you can do is if you like that text, you can save that text as a picture, and you can save it as any other kind of uh, image. So, so there are many things, there are many possibilities you can do here to make exciting applications, um, exciting anything, and you can create calendars. And you don't have to know anything. That's, I, I find a, kind of find that a wonderful thing. At the same time, it's a little bit annoying because you take it takes no skill, and therefore those with skill are kind of like you know, what's the point anymore if it's so easy? But so you can create your own calendar. Basically, you can take your own picture, and you can basically. The tools are pretty straightforward, laid out, and if you can't figure it out yourself, you just go to this big help button, and uh, you just contact them, getting started, or Microsoft Office help. And it's it's all pretty easy. Um, I really have no complaints. I haven't had any problems yet, just showing in this video, and... Uh, it ultimately looks exquisite and it looks great and I think it looks like the kind of suite that I could actually have fun with instead of a kind of suite that I'm struggling with to produce something and I can't find the option and it just isn't working so thanks for watching in my next video I'm gonna take a look at another application in this uh, suite and we'll go from there. Thanks for watching.